Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate how to configure password aging on call management system Solaris servers. First, I will cover a slide with some details about the CMS ADM utility used to configure password aging on CMS Solaris servers. You will use the password underscore age option from the main menu of the CMS ADM utility to modify the password aging options. You must be logged into the CMS server as a root level user to execute this utility. Also, the utility is located in the slash user slash bin directory. When password aging is on, CMS will prompt the user to enter a new password after the configured time interval has passed. By default, password aging is turned off in CMS systems. When password aging is on, it will affect all CMS and non-root Unix logins except the default CMS administration login. Also, root level logins are exempt from aging. Password changes for these logins will need to be done manually. There is a caution to be aware of. If there are third-party software or Avaya Professional Services offers that work with the CMS, do not turn on password aging without first checking with the third-party vendor or APS to verify that password aging will not impact these applications. Some applications may use logins that should not be aged. Password aging changes made from the CMS ADM utility are recorded in the admin.log file. This log file is located in the directory highlighted on the slide. Now I will demonstrate using the CMS ADM utility to configure password aging. I have logged into a lab CMS as a root level user. I will show how to turn password aging on with the CMS ADM utility. The CMS administration menu displays. Enter the number associated with the password underscore age option. Three options will display. One, to turn on password aging. Two, to turn it off. And three, to change the password aging interval. Enter one to turn password aging on. The utility will ask you to enter the maximum number of weeks before passwords expire. The default is nine weeks. Valid entries are 1 to 52. If you enter incorrect data, the utility will display an invalid selection error message and reprompt you to enter the maximum number of weeks. I'll enter 0 to demonstrate this. The error message displays, and I am reprompted to enter the weeks value. This time, I'll enter a valid number of 26. The utility displays a series of messages for every login affected. The last message will show the number of weeks that you set for the password aging interval. This CMS is now set to prompt users for new passwords every 26 weeks. Now I will demonstrate changing the password aging interval. I'll select the password underscore age option again. This time I will select option 3. The utility displays the current password aging interval of 26 weeks then it prompts you to enter a new number of weeks. I'll change the interval to eight weeks. The system will again display the information messages. 
the last message now shows that the password aging interval is set to eight weeks. This time I will demonstrate the last password age option to turn off password aging. Now I'll select 2 to turn off password aging. The utility will ask for confirmation that you want to do this. Press Enter for the default of Yes or Enter N for No. I will press Enter to turn off password aging. As before, the information messages display. The difference this time is no password aging interval message is displayed. I have one more possibility to demo for you. What happens if you try to change the password aging interval when password aging is turned off? I'll select 9 again. This time I'll select 3 to change the password aging interval. The utility recognizes that password aging is off and displays a warning message. It allows you to turn password aging on by entering an aging interval, or you can enter Q to quit and leave password aging off. I am going to enter Q to quit. The utility exits without making any changes. If I had entered a number between 1 and 52, password aging would have been turned on for all of the affected users and the interval set to the number of weeks that I entered. The CMS admin log keeps a record of password aging changes made with the CMS ADM utility as well as other administration updates. To view the admin log, go to the slash cms slash install slash logder directory. I'll execute the list command to show the log file details. The log file is named admin.log. Now I'll VI this file and go to the last log entries for the password aging configuration changes that were just done in the demo. The last entries in the admin log file show the messages related to the password aging changes. These highlighted messages show when I initially turned password aging on with the 26-week aging interval. The next set of highlighted messages are similar, except they show the aging interval was changed to 8 weeks. The final set of highlighted messages show when I turned off password aging. You'll notice the log file does not show any messages for when I selected the password aging option when password aging was turned off. That is because I entered Q to quit the utility without changing the configuration. Now I will exit VI. This concludes the demonstration on using the CMS ADM utility to configure password aging. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.